Greetings Android users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and take my Amazon Kindle Fire here, uh, which is stock. It's completely stock right now. It doesn't have anything uh, special on it. And I've decided I'm going to go ahead and put some special things on it. Uh, I guess in, in some respects this will be a uh, idiot's guide to rooting and uh, installing alternate ROMs onto your uh, Kindle Fire. Um, I've done this in the past with the uh, HP touchpad and I guess I'll go ahead and uh, do this for the Kindle now. Uh, one of the exciting things about this device is that it is so inexpensive. Um, at the time of making this video, it's, uh, it's actually probably run its course in terms of its uh, popularity. There are quite a number of other $200 tablets that are going to be on the market that are going to be much better. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I've decided to do this video now, is that uh, a lot of you who have had this tablet for a while probably uh, enjoy it, uh, but are looking to do something a little extra with it now. And like I said, this is completely stock at this point. Uh, let's go out to the internet and download all of the necessary files and uh, we'll get started. All right, so I have the uh, Kindle Fire utility file uh, uh, downloaded here to my desktop and I've unzipped it and I've put it into this Kindle file, Kindle Fire utility folder. Uh, in here are two very important files. Uh, first of all is the install drivers. Uh, if you run this, it's necessary for you to go and run this on your uh, device uh, in order for your device to talk to your computer correctly. Now I've already installed this, uh, so I'm not going to install it again. But if you uh, if you install this, you might get a, po a prompt that says that the driver's not signed. You can go ahead and install that. That's fine. Uh, like I said, I don't need to install this. I've already done so. Uh, at this point, my device is plugged into my computer. Uh, via USB and I'll show you in my device manager it actually so shows Android phone uh, ADB interface. So that's what we want it to say when we have our device plugged in. And uh, from here let's go run the utility. Now when we run it it'll go down and try to uh, you know figure out what files you already have and what files it needs to download. That's a good thing. A lot of stuff in here. Uh, first and foremost we're going to install permanent root with super user. So I'm going to hit 2 I'm going to press enter and it's going to go out and it's going to figure out what uh, what is needed and it's going to put your device into what's called fast boot mode. Uh, fast boot mode gives the uh, uh, computer uh, a way for ADB to install things into the uh, the boot sector of the tablet. So that's important. You'll notice that the, the, the Kindle Fire itself is going to be flashing. Uh, it's going to be doing some reboots. It's going to be booting into different modes. Uh, very important stuff. Uh, all of this goes back and forth like this. Um, nothing to be concerned about. There is going to be some uh, time here where it will send some things there and back and forth. Now my Kindle is actually uh, already fully rooted. Um, I tried to record it earlier uh, during my initial uh, route and unfortunately the, the uh, recording failed. So this one here is uh, just, I'm going through the routine of it again just to show you ultimately that, um, you know, easy enough to do. You'll notice I have the cannot rename file here, which you won't get. I get that because, well, quite frankly, it's already done that. So the Kindle Fire itself is spinning its wheels, uh, rebooting over and over and over again. Uh, ultimately what you'll end up with is after it's rooted you'll end up back to the device sitting in its normal unlock screen and uh, that'll indicate that things have been done correctly. Ah, okay, root installed. Permanent root has been installed. With great power comes great responsibility. That's good advice. Thank you, Uncle Ben. Uh, please be careful with how you use root. Press any key to continue. So if I press enter, uh, it takes me back. Uh, like I said, my, my device is now back up and running on its normal unlock screen. And uh, we'll, we're, we are rooted at this point. So it's just a matter of where we go from here. The next step, uh, like I said, my Kindle Fire is actually uh, sitting on its unlock screen. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. 
and uh, it should take me back to the standard you can now transfer files from your computer to your Kindle which is a good thing because that's what we're about to do uh, turn off the autoplay here so now that we have a root, uh, let's uh, let's give it something extra now. Uh, if we go into ver uh, number six here, we're into extras, you'll notice that we've got some options here. Uh, first and foremost, install the Google Apps and the Go Launcher EX. Now, some of you like the uh, the bookshelf uh, look to the uh, the standard launcher for the Kindle Fire. You can leave that be. It'll give you the option to continue to use that uh, or you can go to the go launcher which is a, a very popular third-party uh, launcher available for Android devices now install the Google app so that's a very important piece I'm gonna hit one and uh, now it already found that I had that zip file in my memory uh, and it's trying to go through and install this now again unfortunately uh, I've already installed these items but uh, due to a recording issue I don't have the original uh, recording of that, so I'm just kind of going through the motions here with you of what would happen next. Uh, ultimately, what would have happened here is that you would have seen a download bar go across your screen showing that it's downloaded uh, the, the Google Apps and the, the launcher and all of that, and it's going to go through and try to uh, install these on my device now, which it looks like it's overriding what's there, which is a good thing. Uh, just be aware, though, that um, this will go a little bit longer for you because, like I said, mine are already downloaded. So it will go down and out and download the files that are necessary. Uh, my Kindle Fire has just rebooted, uh, indicating that uh, something has completed. Now, anytime you install any major uh, items onto your Kindle Fire, you can expect it to reboot. Um, that that's absolutely normal. Uh, that's all folks, our apps have been installed. Well, that's a good thing. I'm gonna press uh, uh, okay here. While my Kindle Fire is rebooting, I do wanna point out something very important. You'll notice right here, my ADB status says offline. That's because as it stands right now, the computer cannot communicate to the Kindle. Obviously, it's because it's rebooting. Now I'm gonna let it uh, do its full reboot and then we'll come back and uh, try a few other things here. All right, let's take a moment here and take a look at the actual device now that we've done a few things to it. Um, I do still have it in uh, the USB connected. I'll just hit disconnect here. Now, what you'll notice is you've got an option here for uh, two different um, launchers. Uh, you have the ability to either use the Go Launcher EX up here at the top uh, or the launcher which is your standard Nook or I'm sorry your uh, standard Kindle Fire Launcher. Uh, I have gone ahead and hit the Go Launcher and it wants to go through a couple uh, silly things which I'm okay with not doing. So here is the Go Launcher now on the uh, Kindle Fire and uh, I guess that looks okay whatever uh, I'm not a huge fan I can go into the uh, app drawer but I'm not a huge fan of the go launcher I'm gonna hit the home button and I'm gonna tell it to use the standard launcher the bookshelf because you know obviously this device is uh, you know a little bit more unique it's uh, geared more toward uh, people reading books and whatnot so we'll just we'll just leave it at that now you'll notice I have a few things here that I, I wouldn't have had normally the uh, Google Plus uh, app Facebook uh, I already had Netflix on there uh, somewhere in this mix of items should be I'm not seeing it here I want to go into apps Okay, now typically what you would see here at this point would be the Google App Market or the Play Store uh, as it's called now and I'm not actually seeing that here. Uh, I'm thinking that we're probably missing something uh, relatively important. Let me hit home again and go back to the Go Launcher and then go into this menu and see Ah, market. Okay, so I didn't actually see that in the, and I'll go back to the standard launcher here. Uh, I, I didn't see the actual market in the list of apps. We'll just double check it here one more time. Yeah, I didn't see it here. So funny enough, the actual market doesn't show up here for me as an option 
for uh, huh that's very curious but if I do go into the go launcher and uh, I go into here obviously it's there uh, and I can add an account and it's very possible you know that I, I know I haven't added an account or anything yet so if I were to add an account and go in here and go into the Google market uh, the the Play Store as you will and, and go and do that but I'm not really concerned about that at, the, at this point um, I'm just concerned about showing you that yes the Google situation has been uh, added to this tablet and so you could ultimately work in this sense, this is the way my daughter has her Kindle Fire, is that it's just basically rooted, and she has the market and the Go Launcher, and she seems satisfied with that. We are going to take it a step further, and so in my next video, uh, now that we're rooted and have the ability to do market, uh, we're actually gonna take it a step further in the next video, and I'm going to add a, uh, I'm gonna install Twerp, uh, the Team Win Recovery Project, uh, recovery software which will allow us to install some uh, custom ROMs and then we're going to add a few custom ROMs and see what those look like. So uh, if you're interested in going further uh, I do recommend watching uh, part two in my Kindle Fire series. Um, I do believe that uh, ultimately I will uh, be showing you what Jelly Bean looks like on this device uh, in the very near future. So this has been Reverend Kyle showing you the uh, idiot's guide, as you were, on how to uh, root uh, your Kindle Fire and install the uh, Google Market.